Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm your host, Steven. And in my latest selection of best albums or important albums and slash my fa one of my favorite albums of 1980, I'm going to pick the debut album from U2. It's called Boy. Great album. It's a great mix of stadium kind of rockers with post-punk textures. And you got these four young lads who are taking that style of music and adding this raw motion of ending adolescence and being apprehensive entering adulthood. Really great how they merged it all together. And I think one of the best things on this album is Edge's ringing guitar tones on here. Because without that, I think they would have sounded like a lot of other bands at that time. And I think that's what pushed them to the forefront. They had their own sound. No one sounds like the Edge. No one does. You can like him or hate him, but no one can play guitar like him. No one can make that those sounds like he does. And it's a, a great debut. Like I said, it's a mix of post-punk textures with stadium rock feel built around raw emotions. And I think that's a great record to sink your teeth into. If you're a U2 fan and never heard their debut, you're missing out a lot. You got uh, The Ocean, which is a great song, uh, Stories for Boys, and of course, I think the song that should be on our greatest hits package is I Will Follow. One of the best songs they've ever done that this doesn't get played a lot more on radio and, and put on their greatest hits packages blows my mind to this day. Great album. Nothing sounds like this. Nothing sounds like you too. And this was their humble beginnings. And I really enjoyed it. I think it's one of the most important albums of that year, of 1980. But you let me know what you think. I'll post the song down below. Share your thoughts with us. We'd love to hear from you. This is Steven from The Roundtable with my choice of one of the best albums or important albums of the year, 1980.